Uchin parents and fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. How many of you have a watch strapped to your wrist and or is constantly checking your phone to count every minute that passes by because your mind is always on something else and that you always have something to do? Okay. Have you ever noticed the importance of time? We all use it in our daily lives, whether you use it to yell at your kids because they're coming home um, late just a minute past their curfew or when you're counting the hours of sleep you have left after submitting an assignment that you worked on past midnight. Now I have a passage for you that it's actually one of my favorites that Solomon wrote. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. It's called A Time for Everything. Everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. He sets the time for birth and the time for death, the time for planting and the time for pulling up, the time for killing and the time for healing, the time for tearing down and the time for building. He sets the time for sorrow and the time for joy, the time for mourning and the time for dancing, the time for making love and the time for ma not making love, the time for kissing and the time for not kissing. He sets the time for finding and the time for losing. The time for saving and the time for throwing away, the time for tearing and the time for mending, the time for silence and the time for talk, he sets the time for love and the time for hate, the time for war and the time for peace. What do we gain from all of our work? I know the heavy burdens that God has laid on us. He has set the right time for everything. He has given us a desire to know the future but never gives us the satisfaction of fully understanding what he does. So I realize that all we can do is to be happy and do the best that we can while we are still alive. All of us should eat and drink and enjoy what we have worked for. It is God's gift. I know that everything God does will last forever. You can't add anything to it or take anything away from it. And, to, and one thing God does is to make us stand in awe of him. Whatever happens or can happen has already happened before. God makes the same thing happen again and again. So how much time do we have left? No one knows for sure, but we have the same amount of it. We all have some sort of awareness of the value of time. Time is eternal. It always continues on to move on, whether, no matter who you are or what you're doing. It doesn't have a beginning or an end. Us humans have created ways to measure time, whether it is in years, months, weeks, days, minutes, hours, and seconds. We use time to differentiate the past, the present, and the future, or even birth, growth, and death. Time is extremely important in our lives. It helps us structure our daily lives and activities so that we are organized and productive. Or time can be viewed in a philosophical perspective when representing special milestones or the passing of a loved one. People always say, where did the time go? Well, the problem of life is that we all have is that we are constantly trying to run a schedule for ourselves. But everything has already been written in stone even before being born because God has already planned the schedule. There is an appropriate time for everything. Yes, time is precious and of the essence. Our inner locus of control tells us we have to be in control. But hate to tell it to you, everything happens for a reason. God tells us every time is for everything. You just have to realize it. Moments where you're feeling pain or feeling as if you're separating from God is because God himself has given you that time. It's like a test. Lessons from which we all have to learn, even through our high and lows, God will be there. There's a reason for this, and it's because time is everything. From two weeks ago, Alex Engel spoke about the Nicene Creed, and I just want to mention that when you think about the first few lines of the prayer, we believe in the one true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. We have to believe in God and his abilities, and everything is in his hands and in his power. From this passage, the truth that God wants us to learn is how to handle life in such a way that we can rejoice it in, any, in every circumstance. Though circumstances bring us pain as well as pressure, it is his choice for us, getting the most of each day and enjoying life to the fullest will help you understand the importance of every moment. Thank you.